Hello everybody, thanks for joining the call and today we're going to speak about AdWords. I know um, it's a famous topic uh, some of you guys are struggling with but I think it is good to touch base once in a while to compare to other methods, okay? And I think when you get an understanding what the potential is, uh, you can better judge if it fits in your case. So my name is Jack Holman, I'm 50 years old. Uh, I do online offline marketing since 2009 and I just checked and I have managed no more than 1.5 million in Google AdWords. So I hope uh, who's excited to learn a little bit more about AdWords tonight. Type in a yes and Type if you say no, if you don't like it so much. Okay, thanks for your feedback. So, part of AdWords training, uh, part of AdWords is a high quality score. And you get a quality score from, you know, 1 to 10. And uh, I show here that 10 is possible and I will also show you tonight how you can achieve a high quality score because there's a lot of talk about it and why is a high quality score so important because uh, you pay lesser for a click and uh, there's something like impression share Google shows the ad more often if the quality score is high. Well, you get that because Google has found out that uh, people will click on your ad liking the content what you're showing. So actually there are four elements in AdWords. That's keyword, ad, website and you know and the phone operator if it is regarding a call. So keyword Ad, website, and the receiver. So if you manage those four parts, you can dominate AdWords. I'm going to uh, cover each and every part. So for local marketing, the keyword needs to be have a local intent. And you also have to uh, think about it that the keyword has a local intention. So, service in, service city, service location, service places. So, if those, if if that, if somebody use that keyword, then they have clear and local intention, and the chance that they are looking for your service is high. And you also want to make sure that the keyword represents a human being. You want to close your eyes, step with your feet in the Google search bar and look to that ad and say, hey, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for a roofer. I'm looking for a roof company. I'm looking for a roof place. So that is how you want to judge a little bit the keywords. And once you get that uh, mindset, you're doing much better with the keywords. Does everybody get it so far about the keywords? Anybody question about keywords now? Because this is part one. Okay. So let's move to the ad. Like I said, the keyword represents a human being. Stands in the Google search bar, looking around. Something what catch the eye and that eye needs to represent the ad and the ad needs to resonate with the keyword. The first line you want hear something like um, something like a keyword the first line or the company name. If, if the company name is pretty well known you can use the 
company name like McDonald's, you know, or Best Buy or Costco, you know. So or Amazon. So because they 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 have built up their brand. But if the company is new, you want to resonate with the keyword. Re just sometimes is it just uh, repeating the keyword. You're telling, okay, the, I I I know what you're looking for. The second line is actually represents the pain point. You know, it 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 it. Uh, you're telling, okay, I know your keyword, and I know what it affects you. And the third line is in short solution, a call to action. So, 24/7 uh, call now. So, for example, here's an ad. Tampa Roofing Contractors, you know, that is the, more or less the company name. And then you want to build up a little bit of trust, locally owned roofing company. And then you, you, then you can tell them a little bit about the solution. Get a free estimate today and save. So those actually today and save are things, elements that people like and they are more uh, intent to click on your ad. Does everybody get that? So we cover keywords, we cover ads. So the third element, uh, so how to find examples of a good ad? You know, you go to Google search, like say, and you go to it with the keyword roofer and you add the cities and you scrape those URLs. And with the URLs, you go to the Google Planner tool nowadays and you search for keyword. You go back to Google search and find the proven ad because if an ad, if a company is showing an ad in a big city, those ads are probably well converting because they have to pay a lot in both big cities. So, go to the big cities, find the most common keywords, find the ads what big companies bidding on. Use that as material to uh, compose your own ad. That gives you a good starting point. Does everybody get this step? IDs from good ad. Okay. So the website. The website the actually is much simpler than you might think. It is something that you build up trust and has just enough content that they take action. You don't need to be Wikipedia. You don't need to be in dictionary. You don't, they, people don't like to call. They only, they only uh, decided in a fraction of a second if they want to stay on your website. So you need to be clear in your message. It needs to have testimonials because you can tell of course, you tell positive things about yourself, but do do other previous customers that too, and are they willing to put it on your website? Social elements, so you know, even uh, they might not search on Facebook, but they like that you are present on Facebook. Uh, show your phone number very clear in your header and the location, so because you're local, you know, you want to come across not as an internet market company. You want to show a local phone number. You might also want to put an 800 number if, you know, but the local number will convert better. And about us, about the business out is very important. Those are the pages where you build up credibility. The story actually doesn't matter. It is more that uh, that you want to share your story. 
Do you use different landing pages for different ads? Um, for most niches, not, but if the company does completely different kind of service, like they do HRV, they do plumber, you know, they do roofing, they do two different kind of services, then I use different landing pages. If the service is related, like roofing, for example, you have repair, you have new business, what you do is you send them to the home page and you divide that traffic in three blocks and each block um, each block uh, is a link to speaking about that service does that answer your question John okay so I'm going to go quick while I have implemented Lead Tracker Jack, but then I'm going to show you more about the website. So for the quality score, it is important, for, for Google AdWords it's important, the quality score, the impression share, the search keyword, so all those elements are important. And if you go to, if you want to track the real keyword what people have entered in Google search you can track that with lead tracker jack so you can see which keyword on average time was used for a certain keyword that will help you tremendously which keyword uh, which keyword to, um, to, uh, to go after you put a simple code on the website and that will help you to, um, to understand for SEO, for, for everything, you know. Knowing your customer, knowing what convert, it makes a difference. Okay. Um, side notation. You want to show the phone number. You want to show the location. Side links, you can, if you have subserves, you can, about, we just spoke about the roof, a new roof, roof repair, you can have the side links. And to, st to start off, you want to start with a small radius around the location, see how things convert, and you can increase with the radius, or you can also increase with the opening hours. Side links is um, below an ad. You see sometimes small links, and those links go to a subpage of the website. Below an ad, they only show in the top three ad. So the secret of high quality scores is group local intent keywords local intent keywords so like say um, um, AC repair in AC repair location AC repair places okay group those AC repair is a main keyword make them local intent and group those then you get uh, so Google will see, okay, you are all about AC repair and that will help tremendously with your quality score. Nobody is teaching that. And actually I found also out also more or less by accident. Because of Lead Tracker Jack, it showed me which keyword converted well and I grouped them and, I, and my quality score went to 10. So here are some ninja tricks. If you just started off, do those four points. Bid on the company name. If you do that, that company has probably already a name and people are looking for the phone number. So if you bid on that company name, and it can be, that doesn't need to be a small area, that can also be a reasonable area. People finding that company and they look for the phone number and they make the call, okay? 
those are very cheap, uh, high converting ads and keywords. Then the next thing, test ads, test ads, test ads. You never know which ads works the best. You need to have at least two ads active at the same time. After 20, 30, 40, 50 clicks, depending on the difference, you're going to pause the, the ad what converts the least and you're going to create a new ad. And if you need ideas, you do the same thing. You, you're going to look which keyword get the most impressions and conversions and going to look in Google for ideas. And you select a little bit, you know, the, the things from other elements and you incorporate with your ad. Um, so the bounce rate, I, 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 I just said count a conversion if they surf through the website, that's how I do it, but you also can set up Google Analytics in your account and it tells you the bounce rate. The bounce rate is very important. You do not want that people come to your website and they click away. That means they didn't find what they are looking for. Either the ad doesn't is not correct or the keyword. Most time is the keyword. Look at the search keyword, ad keywords and negative keyword. So in Google AdWords you have the option to look what is actually entered in Google. And let's say your keyword is AC repair and is a broad keyword. You can see what they actually typed in like cheap uh, AC repair or free AC repair and they click on your ad and they say, wow, I'm, I'm not offering free AC repair. So you take that word free and you add it to the negative keyword list. But it can also be all the way around that they um, type in AC repair uh, uh, Saturday or so. So now you say, okay, actually people are looking for if my if I offer service on Saturday, so that's actually a good keyword because I do, then you add that keyword to the bid keywords because people are looking for it and you offer it. Okay, so actually that is in a nutshell uh, Google AdWords. It's pretty simple. It, it all comes back to uh, Keyword, ad, website, and phone operator. And why I have phone operator? You know, you, uh, every element is important. Uh, website so that they do the action. But if the call to action is making a phone call, you want to make sure that that call get answered, and also in a way that they set that they if if the goal is set an appointment, then an appointment gets set. Do you use mobile ads with no click to website? Yes, I'm testing it now. Yes, I do. You need to test, John. Test, test, test. Some niches it works good and some niches not. Dep if, if you have an, an, an emerging niche, you know, where we are serving for, they don't need to see the website, they just want to call the operator. For some natures you need to build up the trust before they make the call, so it depends. Any other questions? What if I don't have a client for my lead gen side? Do I just try to rank with generic words? No, you, you'd spend your time to find a client. Or is, does it answer your question or you want to use the round robin to send the calls? You need to do something what is towards finding a client. Try to show proof that I can generate leads for a client. Okay. Um, 
uh, try to show proof that I can generate leads for a client. Um, Hmm. Is a I don't know. I actually I would. I think I would um, get a client and use AdWords to generate calls the first two weeks. That's what I would do probably. So I think um, I would. I would prove during while I get paid. That's what I probably would do. Because they probably don't believe you that much if you say, you know, um, do you already have a client in, in mind? So you want to send calls to a particular client and say, hey, I sent you five calls and, you know, do you want to continue more? Is that your thought? That That is a reasonable thought. So what you want to do is then you want to send uh, an an email with each call. And you can do that in Lead Tracker Jack. You can send in Lead Tracker Jack an email with each call telling that you send that call with together with a whisper message. And what you want to do is you want to it's very simple actually. You want to bid on the company name. Something like that. People are looking for a company, so that those clicks are cheap. Any other question? So, so don't, so don't many people overlook the ads on the top and side of Google search? No, they are the most, uh, most people besides the Google Places, besides Google Places. Google AdWords is, you know, I see click to rate from 10 to 20 percent, but Google Places is also uh, um, Google Places is still uh, is is very important, and for sure if you have stars, is your Facebook group still active? Yes, I request, but never. I I, I ba uh, have a backlog uh, to get people in. I need to verify if people. Our members, but John, I will add you tonight for sure. And you only pay when someone, and you only pay when someone clicks on your link. Uh, not sure uh, if I follow you. Oh yes, you okay? Yes, you only pay Google AdWords if they click on the link. Correct. That if you are new to AdWords, start things like company names, small areas, uh, have a website what has the elements we, we spoke about, and build up you know build up your experience. Any other questions? Thank you. I'm picking up three numbers in lead exit after webinar. Okay, good. Okay, so if there are no questions, I want to do touch base on uh, Google AdWords. And actually, I hired two uh, VAs to work on um, cracklist posting. And who's interesting next week to hear about Cracklist? So, um, I actually, do, uh, I'm pretty advanced now. I studied the last three, uh, three weeks on it and trained two VAs and they posting like hell at the moment. So, I, 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 uh, 
they all set up uh, serve different accounts posting via Cracklist. Yes, overseas VAs. You cannot pay people in America. Oh, how do you say that? If you have to pay twenty twenty dollar hour or more, Craigslist posting get expensive. That's the way it is. You have to post about two ads per day manually. So, a virtual assistant. So they are not in my office. So if uh, if you if you uh, post two to three ads per day, that's about sixty ads per month. Each ad, you know, takes about ten to fifty minutes. Then you have to create them and so so a lot of time. So that then it doesn't become so affordable if you have to pay twenty dollar more. Yes, I, I see uh, calls about five calls per per day. So. I need to tweak a little bit the ad, so I want only to get get good calls. But for sure, um, there is some traction. So I, I can share um, next week if you want about it. And I'm thinking to uh, offer that as a service to my members. I, are you guys interested in that? So um, I will do that for you guys. Um, I, I only I only can tell it is not worth to do it by yourself. It's much too time consuming, you know. So, but it works. You want to know the process, and then you outsource it, and then you can focus on getting new clients. Set a website, you know, prospect and outsource. Okay? Okay, Phil, which niche is it in? Okay, so uh, correct list, it depends on the niche, uh, the state, and the time of the year. So, for example, roofing would work in the summer, but not in the winter so much. And Phil is at plumbing, so I don't know his city, but there's a lot of competition, and other people are uh, posting like hell, then it's a challenge, or the ad might not be attractive enough. Okay, so with that said, um, I thank you for your time. Uh, I wanted to cover one more time Google AdWords, the potential, and touch page on Cracklist. I try to come up with a nice training course for next week, so you guys get a better understanding about what Cracklist posting um, contains and the potential of that. Okay? And I thank you all for your time.